What's up, guys? A couple of weeks ago, I was uh, on a Facebook group uh, about cigar box guitar making, and I posted a photo of me bending wood using nothing but a curling iron. It got like a lot of traction, and a lot of people were asking me questions, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video about it. So, um, if you want to save a little bit of money about not buying a expensive wood bending tool, just get you a $20 curling iron and see how that works for you. Let's check it out. The biggest problem that I had with bending wood is when you have a, a soundboard or a back like this, and you're trying to figure out the distance from here and curving around to here so you can cut your piece of wood to length. One trick I came up with is uh, cutting a piece of paper and taping it together so it's long enough, and then you can the, the paper will curve like this, and you can just like uh, trace it around your object and then flatten it back out and put it on your board, and that's your length that you need to cut. I'll uh, kind of go into detail and show you that here in a second. Here's a spruce soundboard where I've already cut out the shape and marked out the general area where I want the side is going to be. Take a piece of paper and start on one end and just work your way around, letting it curve with the line. Now I've already cut this piece of paper, but when you get to the end, you're gonna cut it right here. And you'll stretch it out, and that's your length. Put it on your board, make your mark, and then make your cut. I already have a piece of one by two oak that I've been cutting on to make my sides. Uh, I've been setting up a bandsaw to cut maximum around an eighth of an inch. That way it's pretty strong, but you can still bend it. Here's my side piece of wood that I've cut. If you have like really deep cut marks like this, I find it is better to go ahead and take a 60 or 80 grit sandpaper and sand that down smooth before you get to bending. It's just easier to do it while it's a flat piece of wood. When bending wood, it's good to uh, go ahead and submerge your piece in water and let it sit overnight. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of hard to find something that's large enough to fill some water and put your piece in. So here I have an old snow sled and it works out pretty good for me. Okay, here's my curling iron. I think I bought this for like 20 or $30. It's got this cool heat setting adjustment on here. Be careful with that because uh, I have burnt the wood before or at least it left a little burnt mark. So kind of experiment with that. But with this one, I built this little block system so I can attach it to a table using some clamps or something. Because if not, it's just got a round handle. It'll just roll all over the place. Okay, I have everything clamped down. The curling iron's been warming up. Here's my piece of wood. You can see it's still damp from being submerged. This works kind of like a soldering iron where you can leave the piece on a little bit and just let it get hot. And then just start applying the pressure a little bit. And you can kind of feel it give way as you go. And what I like to do, I use, the, use this tip as a guideline. So if you know you're parallel with this black tip, you know that your curve is gonna be a good shape and parallel. It really helps to submerge the wood because I can already feel it just spinning nice and properly. And I'm going pretty fast with this. 
you probably want to go a little slower. You can get like a nicer curve. But I'm just going a little fast just, just for a demonstration. As you can see, it's already keeping to shape. And you just go over to your piece of wood or your uh, soundboard or whatever you're using. And just go along with the with the lines. <laughs> 